Hi guys. My name is Colette and welcome back to Colette's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers, all those who have been here with me for ages, forever and a day. Welcome back. I love you guys. Tomeha, don't know. So you go. Well, all right. Guess who got a haul video? Me. I went to the Dollar Tree because I did mention in my last video when I did the handbags that I, um, and by the way, my hair is still wet in the back. I washed it this morning in the shower, went to work with it wet, and that's what I got. Y'all know I don't give two figs, right? Yeah, y'all not don't care. I just do me. <laughs> I don't care. I don't watch it. We don't watch nothing over here, so we don't watch nothing. So, here's the thing. Oh, quick thing. I used this the other day, Word to Work, and I love it. The shadows blend very nicely, very pigmented. Um, also, but I didn't like how this one came off, so I end up using this one. I did find one thing, though. In the interest of me get trying to get a hurry on um i do prefer t putting it on top of a um glitter glue you can use the one from nyx i have the ulta one i'm still working with and i will buy another one sometime soon but so far i really like this little palette nice and warm and mm. anyway oh to my feet so because of my foot problems i'm not gonna go into a lot of details but i do have a bone problem in the left one and uh, it has really rendered me handicapped quite a few times and in years past i've had to just chill and can't go to work because of the foot so now due to excessive walking I've suffered a bit of a relapse. I still went to work today, but I tried my best to take it easy on the foot, but I'm still in pain. I'm gonna soak it in Epsom salts when I'm done, but I went to Dollar Tree looking for this Epsom salt foot gel. I've been using this after I soaked my foot and by George, I'm down to here already. You know I went to Dollar Tree, people. Dollar Tree is the devil. Okay. Who won Dollar Tree? And I don't know when Dollar Tree um, have shares in Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to need to go buy some shares in Dollar Tree or something. Because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they making money, okay? <clears throat> I went to find this. Did I find it? No, absolutely not. But I walked out of there spending $18 and change. Let me show you what I spent my 18 bucks on. So they have these new little baskets. You know me, I like to organize stuff. So I picked up this little, mat, the little basket. I might take and make it into a makeup basket because y'all, since I've been working, Every time I clean my vanity, I look around and it's like whoosh, the whole thing is like stuff here, stuff there, lipsticks out. <laughs> my brain, I can't stand it. I even have wallets sitting here. Like, um, look at, look at this. Look at this. That's not me. This is, this is not me. A mini toothpaste up here brush and pencil so I bought this little thing so I can kind of put my work makeup basket together like the stuff that I'm gonna use that I think I'll use the most <sighs> this palette has been up here too it's time to put this back where it came from because it's so pretty though Look at it. Used it twice last week. Anywho, let's get into the rest of this haul video. Almost five minutes in and I'm just here yakking away. 
<sighs> so I got this little lock lock top container with lid it's um it says 2.31 cups but it's it's wide it's flat so there it is it's flat so basically I'm not gonna make a sandwich but this morning I did put two patties two Jamaican beef patties in a Ziploc thing and took to work so I have a whole thing in the freezer. So this would be nice to put my patty in, warm it in it, and blah, blah, blah. So I end up picking up two of these. Yeah, you know I got to get a seafoam green and that color. The other one was just a boring gray, and I wasn't going to do that. Um, I'm going to put the bag over here so I don't make too much noise, hopefully. I also picked up... this easy seal it's like a, a little it's four of them here with the lid from betty crocker betty crocker is a good brand and i noticed they are all up in the dollar tree this one has cup sizing like half a cup here one cup would be here so this is like a two cup capacity and uh, i wanted to put my cherries my fruits so there's that. My spending is justified, y'all. Don't judge me. All right. Now, this I totally did not need to buy. And I, I looked at myself when I came out of the store and I'm like, why did I buy this? Okay. It says concealer brush Ioni. It says precise application, even coverage, and streak free. Y'all know. I don't need this. What is for? Where am I going with this? But I paid $1.25 for it. Hi, hello. Let me take it out of the packaging, yeah? So, it's just a tiny, a little, it looks like it's well made. And I think that was the intrigue for me. I. I looked at the brush head and I thought that's basically a full size brush head when you compare concealer brush as concealer brushes go. Here's one that I have here from Hudis Morphe. See, it's basically a full size brush head, but it's on a shorter handle and I don't need a concealer brush, but I like using concealer brushes for applying loose pigments ouch and uh, i hit my knee and um my color pop thing here because me and the finger thing no i just like using that for this so you know how am i gonna know how it works if i don't test it out they had other brushes there was a double-ended brush but because i do so despise double-ended brushes i stayed away from it and there was another brush, looks like it was a shader brush I, or um, a blending brush. I think maybe it was a blending brush, but I wasn't interested because I have blending brushes I really love. And I had no interest in finding out about that. So I wanted to test out this one. So I said, you know what, let me give this one a little run for the money. The ferrule looks like it's on pretty good. It's not feeling shakier or, you know, like some of the eyes, lips, face ones. When you get them, you can feel here wobbling already before you even start using it. However, when I use it and go to wash it and stuff, then I'll be able to tell if it's really sturdy. But there's that. I picked up two packs of wipes. These are the Bolero brand. Uh, cleanse and hydrate honey and green tea with honey plus green tea seed oil that one and the packaging is kind of cutesy isn't it and then this one is mango and raspberry seed oil y'all these are not going on colette's face okay i don't know about you but my face is sensitive breakout central zone 
and we don't play these games. What I've been using to cleanse my face when I do wear makeup are my um, Kirkland wipes. Let me show you. Sorry, reach for the wrong thing. Excuse my big face being up in the camera, but yeah, I have these guys. So I've been using these, and these are from Costco. I, I'm about to finish my first pack. So I have those, and I also have, where are they? Oi, there. Look at people. Uh-uh. I am missing a big pack. Ah, here we go. Sorry, I just had to hunt for these because I'm like, what, what? These are the Patrick Star or whatever his name is, Patrick Star. The one size go off juicy makeup wipes. I don't even think I hauled this y'all, but I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, and it's already opened. So when I finish the other one, I think I'm going to go in. I got this from Ulta, not Ulta, um, Sephora for $7.50. I think it was on sale. However, I did purchase something else from Sephora at the time and the box showed up. They did bill me, charge me for the things and only this showed up in the box looking all raggedy and stuff during the holidays past. And so I called Sephora and they had to refund my money and I kept this. So whatever. So these I bought because I don't have any regular wipes for when I swatch you know I like to swatch my makeup sometimes I go through swatch before I toss or just to test them out or you're sitting here and you're playing with your makeup whatever I don't like to use the wipes that I use on my face that I know to be really good that works really well for my hand cleanup I don't like that at all so therefore I got me these long chat chat to get much it's all right me like chat me like chat to i don't think i bore y'all yet anywho um i saw this cutesy little facial brush i don't need it lord knows i have like four facial brushes but i wanted to try it it's a dollar 25 what do you want to what do you want me to do look it's so cute it's soft it feels soft enough and uh, it has a little cord you can hang it to dry but i like the little shape you can just hold it like that and just go around the face i'm gonna use this tonight y'all so i have to do a review roundup for you guys and i'm thinking that's gonna be soon because your girl got a lot she wants to share with y'all even dark chocolate issues yes all right next thing from the bag is the 12 ounce arm and hammer essentials with baking soda and aloe foaming body wash juniper berry this is that i like getting these body washes from from um dollar tree the arm and hammer ones i don't know i just like them i guess because it's the baking soda factor I just kind of like them and I think for a buck or a buck 25 now that they are a buck 25 I think it's still a pretty darn good deal okay I like that so there's that by the way y'all I went to Walgreens today in the area I'm working and they had some of these hemp heaven lotions in there and you know, said so it's something them in there for twenty dollar nineteen ninety nine. I was like, but kiss me neck. I was golfing at thing price TJ Maxx for ten ninety nine for the ones they have for ten ninety nine. And I decided I'm not paying more than five ninety nine. So I had actually grabbed this one for five ninety nine. But hello, me not spend twenty dollar for that. Sorry, mm -mm, puppy. A little wicked that's wicked why would you sell a body lotion for twenty dollars like seriously what what no that's too much 
Anywho, in my mullings around um, my musing or whatever you want to call that, Skin Nutrition Botanicals, Vitamin C, 1%. This is uh, a Vitamin C blend. It says designed to, their formula is designed to target, huh? look here. I'm scratching my head because I'm reading this and I'm going to read it to you exactly what is on it, right? Okay, it says an indispensable nutrient for collagen production, comma, may I read the comma? Yes, so I understand what I'm talking about, yes, so. A stable form of vitamin C plus blends in our advanced formula designed to target to reduce the appearance, I'm running out of breath, of most common signs of aging <sighs> then there's a semicolon dark spots a comma sunspots and uneven skin tone but you don't notice the long run on sentence where them got there <laughs> listen it says <laughs> i nearly ran out of breath because i was reading it after the comma it said a stable form of vitamin c plus blends in our advanced formula designed to target to reduce appearance of, and i'm like wait 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 why what, what okay i couldn't process part of my brain was like well, what what <laughs> it was just a very long run-on sentence like who did this anyway we're not here for english lessons are we let me get on with it <laughs> so this they say apply several drops and spread all over cleanse face and throat am and pm avoid eye and lip area if in if irritation occurs discontinue use you know what i am not even going to put this on my face i decided i was going to add it to my lotion the vitamin c thing just to you know assist my lotion a little bit and then there is also a retinol thing i did test out a lotion i saw in tj maxx the other day and it said it has retinol in it and it left my hand feeling rather smooth and stuff so you know i thought to myself you know what before until i return to tj maxx and if said lotion is still there sitting on that shelf i'm going to add this to my lotion just to assist because oh i need to call i use this on my face at night i need to call for a new tube because yeah i pretty much used up that one but that one's expensive y'all all right i'm almost done with y'all Oh, there's something in my in my tote bag. All right, I've been seeing this little guy all over Instagram, and people seem to be quite taken with this LA Colors Bare Eyeshadow. Back in the day, I used to do um, a bit of. Uh, for those of you who've known me from back in 2009, 10, somewhere there, remember those little round um, trios that LA girls used to have. And we would just all go crazy looking for them until they expired and we tossed them all out. Anyway, I, I learned to not really go for LA Colors eyeshadows. However, Emily Noel uh, spoke of this one the other day and she did a nice look and she liked it. She gave it good reviews. I've swatched this one, but I have yet to use it, to be honest. It's just been sitting here. It has a highlight color there. Actually, two highlight shades. This one and that one. And then down the center here are some lid shades. There are four crease colors. These two berry looking ones and these two dark ones over here. And so I thought, well, jolly good. I would pick one of these up and try it. I don't even remember where I found it, but... I have it sitting here waiting to be tested and so I saw this one this one is called bear b-a-r-e and this one is what is this nude 
it, the back is quite reflective. So this is nude and this is bare. So I'm going to test them out and I'll let you guys know if I like them. Now, I've been seeing um, Believe Beauty showing up. And this, they sell Believe Beauty at, uh, five, uh, what do you call that? Not Five Below. Um, Do Dollar General. I'm just trying to remember what their name is. But I think y'all probably know this already. The people who own Dollar General, Family Dollar, also own Dollar Tree, right? If you didn't know, now you know. So they are now incorporating the Believe Beauty stuff that I guess maybe they're, I don't know what they're doing, but I've been seeing foundations and a few Believe Beauty things pop up in the Dollar Tree. Um, so in my Dollar Tree, this is a blush. I don't think this is the one that I tried. I think I had a double one that I, I might still have it in my drawer or I might have decluttered it. However, this one is called Creamy Peach, and it says a long wearing sheer powder blush that provides a pop of buildable natural looking cheek color for all skin tones. Now, if you know me, girls, you know that this is my blush. This is my kind of blush. Like, somehow looking at it, it kind of gave me a little bit of a, <gasps> oh, it it fell right <laughs> oh no I'm done listen people you want to see how much pieces that's up me you know oh my look here yo I'm not even gonna <laughs> it's like in a million pieces y'all it's like in a million pieces I'm, I'm kind of going to leave it there and then take a photo of it and insert in the video so y'all can see because I'm disappointed. I'm sad at this one. Look at that. I have no blush. I'm not going back to Dollar Tree. I'm, I'm just not going back. And I'm not repressing it either. There goes that. I guess I wasn't meant to have it. Whatever last thing let me get my tote bag stopped in a walgreens today most of some of you might know that i had gotten rid of most of my nail polishes decluttered them and if you didn't know now you know uh the majority i have on my wall some are from sally hansen like my favorites and then i have a whole two racks of Essie polishes um, one of which I'm wearing which turned from gray to blue don't ask I don't know what I've been dabbling in um, and the rest of them are all gel polishes but I've been hearing good things about these guys and so in true Colette's fashion I am gonna test these out and this looks like something I already own up top there, but it's like my kind of color for nails. I just love this. So I grabbed this one, and yes, I paid full price. And then there's this one. This one kind of got me because it's so iridescent. It has some kind of a shift in purple and pink and something going on in there. I don't know. All right, so this one is called Mike drop it low okay whatever and then bolt and be bold this one it says bolt and be bold so this is the se express expressy play on words much Anywho, I'm disappointed about that. That blush just took the wind out of my sail. Yo, maybe I'll go back and buy another one. Maybe, but look at it. It, it had promised to be, it feels creamy and it is buildable. Look now, look at that. 
it's my per I'll, I'll go back and buy another one i'll buy another one i i wasn't expecting that y'all i was not expecting there's a piece on the floor and then the rest is up here wonder if i can no i'm, I'm gonna leave it alone and just take a picture like i said i would i'm gonna leave, leave it alone <laughs> anyway i'm done i'm done y'all i'm done I hope you were thoroughly entertained by this video okay I hope you guys were entertained by this whole video because um, yeah I'm slightly disappointed but I got some entertainment because that thing just fell pluck, right out of there like mm. by the way on my lips I also purchased from the Walgreens which I promptly returned but I'm liking the kind of look on the lips uh the new milani lipstick the ones in the little tube that look like like this long um they're creamy they said it, i didn't realize it was creamy i thought they were matte so i purchased two colors and after i had my lunch i put some on and my lips felt so greasy guys i was like oh my goodness what is this I promptly returned them to Walgreens okay on my way home I promptly stopped and returned them to Walgreens so I actually bought these two things and two of those Milani the, the very new Milani lipsticks that are out and about now and I was actually gonna get three I was gonna get that purple one that says kick or something like that or, or something and two of the reds and I end up just getting two of the reds and uh, yeah because right now there is, it doesn't feel like anything because i've licked my lips and wore masks and and whatever and of course it's all over the mask but yeah initial feeling of the lipstick on my lips i did not like it i did not like it i kid you not i, I was not liking it at all i was like oh no you gotta go you know when you put on lip gloss and it's it just feels extra greasy and you're like yeah it was a slipping around and there was color over here and color under here if you can see and i'm like uh this is not what we're doing this is not a look that colette likes so let's put let's put that back take it back so yes i did get my money back for those but yeah mm -mm. all right you guys let me get out of here get out of the, 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 just chat too much love you take care you guys enough love and stay safe be well until the next video walk good right